Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we have an exciting update because we have just rolled out a brand new feature, SOS feature for all of our Famisafe app users. We're really excited about what this new feature represents and the extra peace of mind that it offers to all of our users and customers. The SEO feature is valuable addition to Famisafe's comprehensive parental controls and it's compatible with both Android and iOS. It allows children to send a distress signal to their parents or guardian similar to a panic button. In case of an emergency, the child can activate the SOS alert through a designated app button or a home screen widget. Once triggered, the app notifies the parent with the child's current location. This feature provides reassurance to all of us parents by ensuring that we can quickly be alerted and locate our kids easily. As you have already seen in a scenario earlier, let me quickly show you side-by-side -side view how exactly it works and just how responsive this new feature is. The new SOS feature can be found on a kid's device under the Location tab. This is where you could previously invite a parent to share their live location. Here the child can see the live location of the parent. This location is updated automatically and the parent can see the live location of the child on their device. Previously, whenever the child wanted to raise the parent, they could simply click on this button over here and the parent would immediately receive an invitation to share their live location with the child, whom the child could then easily find. So let's say your child accidentally clicks on the SOS button. They will be redirected to the SOS sending page where a 5 second cooldown period will be initiated. The new SOS feature is intended for emergencies. This means that if the child presses the SOS button by accident, they have 5 seconds to cancel the emergency notification of the parent. If however the child is in an emergency, they can press the SOS button, wait for the 5 second cooldown period to lapse and then an SOS alert will be sent to the parent immediately, just like this. Over here, the parent can see the live location of the child, which updates automatically, or they can update themselves by pressing on these buttons down here. Additionally, the parent can review all the details about the movement of the child, including the movement of the child during the previous day simply by cycling through different dates. Now if the phone is muted or if it's in a silent mode, it will still vibrate. If the parent device is muted or in silent mode and the child is in an emergency, the device will still notify the parent by sending an emergency alert to the parent device and activating the phone vibration feature. So all they need to do, as they used to in the past when they wanted to locate their parent or initiate the contact, is to press this button over here. But to make things easier, especially for the younger kids so they don't even have to go into the app itself, you now have an ability to place a widget button right on their home screen and this is how to do it. You simply press on an empty location of the home screen to activate the option to open widgets. Once in the widget menu, you can either use the featured FamiSafe SOS widget or find the FamiSafe app and select from an alternative look of the widget. And it's as easy as that. Now your kids can quickly trigger the SOS alert whenever they need to. By default the SOS function is enabled but you can choose to disable it if you feel that it's not necessary or if you want alternative safety measures in place. When you disable the SOS function, the SOS button will be removed from the child's device and they will not be able to trigger the SOS alert. Now I should point out if you cannot see the SOS alert button in your FamiSafe app, make sure to update it and it should appear. Overall, this is an outstanding feature. And though I hope I will never have to use it for the wrong reasons, I'm also excited that should my kids need me, they can quickly get my attention and I can find them without any problem. Honestly, next to the most recent update of the AI assistant for the kids and the screen viewer, this is yet another excellent addition to the FamiSafe app. We would also love to know your opinion on the rise of AI, so why not head over to our website and join our artificial intelligence concern campaign to share your best parenting tips on dealing with AI and you could win yourself a cash prize. 
I'll drop a link in the description below for you. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it was helpful. If you have any questions or any comments about this new feature, let us know in the comment section below or write to us through our website. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.